everybody. So, uh, how's it going? My name's Mahanti. Um, I'm an artist, but um, recently I got some comments on a video that I responded to about this projector, and people were wondering um, how the heck do you open this and how do I fix when things go wrong? So, um, this is a video for the two people who replied to my comment. Um, hey, hope this video helps you out. Um, so the problem I had with this projector, and I got this from my, I got this for um, someone as a Christmas gift. And they were like, oh, I have to get a new one because uh, it stopped spinning. Like the lights were not moving anymore. It would turn on, but the lights weren't moving. So I was like, hey, um, let me see it and I will check it out and see what's wrong with it. So I looked for some videos online and I couldn't figure out like how the heck do you open this. So <laughs> my first attempt, I had to kind of do this one myself, but I don't know if you could see it, but there are like some scratches here and that was from when I was trying to pry the thing open. You don't want to do that. Um, what I didn't know at the time is that you have to remove these little rubber things. So I'm just going to guide you guys through how to do it. You're going to gently remove each of these rubbers and just set them to the side. Now if you go slowly when you do this, you should be able to um, stick them back on the projector once you're done, if you're, if you're careful enough. Um, but you're going to want to remove each and every single one of them. Like that. And these three little holes have screws in them that you need to remove. Um, for this project, I recommend, because these are really deep in here, I recommend something like this. This is a little tool that has, it's a little magnet right here. Um, when you're done unscrewing, you can just stick it in there like that, and you can just pull the screw right out. But if you don't have that, just make sure you have a tool that has um, a magnetic tip on it. Um, as you can see, I'm just using your standard standard small screwdriver set. Um, I don't know, don't remember which size this is. I don't really keep track of. I don't keep. I don't keep myself very organized. I just kind of like see what fits. But. So you're just going to unscrew in each of these holes, and you're going to want to go counterclockwise. Okay, there we go. Now to remove the screws, as you can see, a little screw like this should come out. Just set that aside somewhere and make sure you don't get your screws um, mixed up. I gotta unscrew this one a little more. There we go. Oh no, one of my screws got stuck in here. screws don't want to come out but the lid is loose so being very very careful you're going to take the lid and very 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 gently this is fine if it falls out that's okay but you have to be very very careful because the laser wire is connected to the lid so just keep that in mind when you're taking this apart, so don't rip it, but just be very gentle and let it chill. Okay, so I'm just going to take my phone here for a sec. Right here, um, this, ri this wire right here is what connects to the laser. So if you're having problems with your laser on your device, make sure that this component is, is connected fully into the device, then it's not loose. Um, you're also gonna wanna make sure that, hang on, let me see. 
see if I can focus this. Sorry for blurry quality, I'm using an old phone. But um, yeah, so this is the wire for your laser. If you follow it, it connects up to the laser right here, which you're also gonna wanna make sure is fully connected. Um, you wanna make sure it's like nice and clicked in there. Um, if your laser still doesn't turn on, when you make sure that these wires are connected, then you might just have a faulty component. And in that case, um, you're either gonna wanna take a good working laser from another starlight projector, maybe like a used one that's broken on eBay or something, and just replace that component. Um, but if not, you could just buy a new projector. They're not very expensive, but the laser in my opinion is not really that big of a deal. Um, this wire right here, this wire connects to the speaker that's located on this side right here. Each side has a speaker and this wire is for the speaker on, I guess from my perspective, the right. So this is for the right speaker. Um, this, this large connector right here is for the motor, I believe, that makes the lights spin around. It also controls the lights and the settings. This one is for the left speaker. So this speaker right here. And then this is for something else. I can't remember. This is for something else. This might just be for, for the power, for the USB connector. Um, but yeah, so if you're having issues with the with this thing moving um with the lights so like let's say that the lights weren't working and you're like well why aren't the lights moving um you're gonna want to check and make sure that this screw is not loose because if the screw is loose look what happens the motor is going to be spinning and this is just going to be like loose on top so if you're having that problem where the lights don't move just tighten this screw up and then now it will move with the projector so make sure that's nice and tight obviously don't go like don't go ham on it and make it super hard but this should fix your problem if your lights are not moving um, I don't really want to take a, take this apart anymore than I already have, but if you, if you try this method and this doesn't work, um, and your lights still don't work, make sure that these connector, connectors are properly connected, like they're all clicked in. If they're not all clicked in, or if a wire is severed, the wire is loose and it's not connecting to these little um, connectors right here, then your device might need to be um, taken to a repair shop or you might have to somehow very gently, if you know how to do electronics, you might have to take apart the plastic and then re-solder it into that connector so you can connect these back up. But yeah, um, that's basically how you take this thing apart. I took this thing apart all the way down to the motor, and I really don't want to, really don't want to like take it apart all the way down to the motor again because it was kind of a pain to to put it back together. But yeah, hopefully this helps you somehow. Um, Remember, this is for the laser. As you can see, the little wires connected to the laser. This is for the laser. This is for the speaker. This is for the motor and the lights. This is for the other speaker. And I believe this is for the power to the lights and everything in the device. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer the best I can.